you kind of you touched on it there a minute ago, but it really is. And you got to have Mahomes. I'll say it one more time. You got to start there. But the work that the Chiefs front office has done, even in the time since they won their first Super Bowl, is pretty remarkable. I count as many as 10 starter caliber players that the Chiefs have drafted here in that time span, whether you want to go Creed Humphrey and Trey Smith, whether you want to talk about Trent McDuffie and George Karloftis, Karloftis, excuse me, Rasheed Rice, the latest example. It just feels like you've got to hit on picks like that when you have a, a $55, $60 million quarterback, and the Chiefs have done it. Conversely, the next thing I want to ask you about is, and easier said than done, like I said, it's a little bit demoralizing, but if you're 31 other front offices – knowing that this is what you're tasked with stopping where where do you think that starts for me it it feels like maybe things are shifting more defensive I mean I can't help but think of the way that incredible Baltimore defense held the Chiefs without a second half point is is that the key I mean for so long it felt like you had to have the firepower to keep up but now maybe it's you got to have a defense that can hold these guys to less than 20 points yeah, I, I think even if your defense does that, because Kansas City's defense has, and then and that's they're no fluke. They just they they don't have a name like Aaron Donald. You know, you rattled off some people, so they've got they've got players. Up. Certainly, Chris Jones has been a factor. Yeah, the Rams showed you a little bit of how, and they didn't they get back to the playoffs, so they were close. But they they got the quarterback. That's why they made the move to get Stafford to get to the Super Bowl, and they had parts. Uh, they had to give up a lot. They went the veteran route. Then they you saw this recent draft. The Rams have added some players, so you know. That, that's an example if you have a quarterback that you like and and you know look Lamar Jackson he's not he's not the passer that Mahomes is he can run around but the Mahomes can do some of the things Lamar Jackson can do in terms of of running you know so you, then you have other guys who can throw the ball but aren't as mobile as as Mahomes so I you know you you've got I think you got to build a defense and that's why I thought the 49ers had a good shot this year because they they built their defense and they've gone through you know the three different defensive coordinators who've all gone on to become head coaches and they had some injuries that's that's part of the game but I I thought this defense was good enough with a 49er offense that's not going to outscore the Chiefs but 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 put enough points on the board and one thing they didn't do enough of is run the ball with success but credit the Chiefs defense and that's where I thought they could eat up time and still get some points I expected them to you know to score a little bit more San Francisco in this game but but that's kind of the that's kind of the balance but they don't have the quarterback and at the end of the day well the kicking game too the special teams of Kansas City was an advantage but but ultimately it, it came back to the quarterback and and so you, you play keep away and don't let Mahomes have it at the end or else have a two score lead if he has it <laughs> with no timeouts. <laughs> but yes, you're going to have to have a very good defense. And we saw examples of that this year when, when Kansas city lost some games during the course of the year, when their offense sputtered and Mahomes was a little off. I'm just amazed at how well, not only the defense held up for the course of the year, uh, you know, outstanding, especially getting to the quarterback with the combinations of things that they did, but but also how Mahomes is able to keep doing this to keep the fire burning, and even when he has an off game, you know, hey, you see the you see the sideline uh, passion at him if they lose it. You know, he, f- he feels like they should make every play and they should win every game. Um, and but how he's been able to keep his. Uh, confidence and level of play up and also be healthy. He was a little healthier this year too, uh, towards the end, which is another amazing fact about the way he uh, has played the game. The scary thing is, and I agree with you, Tom Brady's resume is obviously still, you got a long way to go, but if I'm Patrick Mahomes for the first time, I can envision catching Tom Brady. Like for the first time, it feels at least realistic. I'm not going to go as far as to say likely, but it feels possible. And so what does that do to to fuel the fire of a guy who already had so much of it? Yeah, had he not had the blemish, of course, you know Brady lost some Super Bowls too. That 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 Buccaneer game because they were fate, right? They were expected to win that one, I think, if I recall. And so that was kind of the like, okay, well, Mahomes and the well, there's a little reality here. And then of course they come back and and do what they do. But well, he's what twenty? He just hit thirty, I think, uh, be thirty. So through the next season, he's got you know five, six. He can play at least forty. Really another decade the way you know 
uh, players today, if they take care of themselves and their arms hold up and they're healthy enough, he may have to adjust his style. But think about it over the next 10 years. Can he win three more Super Bowl? Yeah, he might do that in five years if, <laughs> if, if the team is – that may be an exaggeration. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't bet on that. I'm not sure I, it I, is. I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. bet on it, but I don't know that I'd yeah. bet against it either. That's ex- yep, that's exactly where I was going, just based on where we are. It seems like the last few years we've been saying, hey, Kansas City's going to stumble this year. But as we've kind of broken down here, they've adjusted well. And they some of it, too, is they're, they're, they're watching who's closing ground on them, who's, you know, which teams are coming in, at least from the AFC, that they're going to have to fight off. And how do they defend that or how do they counter that, whether it's more offensive weapons uh, uh, around the homes. It really is going to be fascinating to watch because I, I wasn't quite ready for the dynasty, but now it's there. I mean, we, we, we can't deny that. It's just how long it goes and, and how far Mahomes can take that uh, Chiefs dynasty.